This video is going to walk you through completing problem set zero, and you will be able to use many of these skills when moving on to future problem sets. So open up problem set zero in Canvas, and the first thing to do is download these files. So I have an Excel file, and I'm going to download that into this PS0 video folder. Now make note of where you are downloading it. You have this directory in Windows, you can copy that directory if you like. And I'm going to download this PDF for the instructions into the same directory. Now I can go to that directory, I can open that up and I have these two files in there. So what I wanna do is ask Stata to open this. So if you open the Excel file, then you will see the file in Excel like you are used to. You can open it up, you have these columns, and you can scroll down. See, we have 13,202 observations, but in order to use it in Stata, we are going to open Stata. So in Stata, we can't just open the Excel file. What happens if we try to do that? So I'm going to the directory where I was. I don't see anything. So if I go to all files, I can see that the Excel file is here, but we can't open that in Excel because it's not state of format. So what we have to do is go to file and import Excel spreadsheet. Now I will browse for the Excel file and we're here in this folder where I just downloaded it. So go ahead and select the file. And then we want to click this import first row as variable names. Now this next option, import all data as strings. Strings means that it's not a number. So a string, you can think of it as text. And that's not what we want, so let's not check that. So click OK. And now Stata just imported this file. And we can type the word browse. And then Stata is going to show us the data and this looks a whole lot like it was in Excel. Right, so if we go all the way down, we can see that we have the same number of observations. We have all the same variables. So this is the data that was in our Excel file. Now here is something that's probably a little bit new to you. We're going to be using Stata to type a bunch of commands. And I want to be able to save those commands for later if I get stuck halfway through doing my homework and I want to come back to it or if I just need to modify something later. So I'm going to go up to this icon and ask it for a new do file editor. So when I get this new do file editor, I can actually put some things in here. You'll notice that when we first asked Stata to open the file, it tried saying use something um, and that didn't work. So I don't wanna save that bad thing. We usually get these red error messages when things don't work. But here's the good one, import Excel. And I have this command on the first line. Now you'll notice below that it says five variables, 13,201 observations. I don't need that, that's not part of the command. So I'm going to take whatever state I typed out and I'm going to put that in my do file. So I can take all of the good stuff that Stata gives us and I can copy that into the do file. If you type an asterisk, then whatever you type after it is a comment and Stata will ignore whatever you have put there in that comment. Now I don't need to copy this browse command. You know, if I'm going over this again, I don't need to re-browse and make sure that the data are in there and they look good because I already checked that. So going to number one on problem set zero, it said to import that file from Excel and I need to save it as a Stata file. So what happens if I type um, save cps.dta? It says file cps.dta saved. But now let me go to the folder where I had things for this video and it's not there. The reason is that my current directory is not set to the place where I have my files. So if I copy this directory, and on a Mac you can right click one of these files and go to get info in Windows, it's properties, and that will tell you uh, where the path is. And I think if you hold down, it's either command or option, you can ask 
a Mac to copy the path. And that's the same thing I'm talking about for the directory here. So in Stata, what I can do is write CD for current directory and then paste this path. Now, when I do that, it says invalid syntax. And we get an error message in Stata. You can click on this little R error message and that'll pop up a help file and you can read through the help file and maybe some of that will make sense. Sometimes it doesn't really seem to make sense. So what's going on here is I need to fix something. So in order to get that previous command, I'm going to just hit the page up button on my keyboard. And I know the problem is that I have some spaces here. So I see a space, another space. Anytime you have a space, Stata thinks that you are done with a command and moving on to the next thing. So if you have spaces and you want Stata to not stop, you need to put this inside of quotation marks and notice how that changed the color. Now, if I do that, that worked. That looks good. And now I can hit page up a couple times to save cps.dta. And that's going to save in my current directory. And we can see we have this file called cps.dta. Well, that means that this CD command is pretty important. And I want to put that in my do file. So I'll put my current directory there. And then I want to save cps.dta. So that goes in my do file as well. So there, problem one is done. Let's go to problem two. So problem two says to type display and then hello world, but I have to put it in quotations. Now I've done that and it works. So I can take this, copy it, and then paste it in my do file. Let's go to problem three. It asks about summary statistics. So if we use this command summarize, then it will tell us about a variable. Um, before I do that, this is not in your homework, but if we type describe, it will tell us about the entire data set. So it says we're looking at cps.dta, the number of observations and variables, and what each of them are called. And this storage type, you don't really need to worry about that very much. But um, if something does say that it's a string, then you know that you can't do math with it directly. But let's go to summarize. And I want to summarize the average hourly earnings variable. So what if I type AHE for average hourly earnings? It says variable AHE is not found. Well, if I go up to my variable list, I see AHE in the variable list, but it's lowercase. Stata is case sensitive. So I can type summarize lowercase AHE. Now, because the capital one gave me an error, I don't want to put that in my do file. I am going to go to the lowercase one that worked and I'm going to put that in my do file. Just so you can see this, if we type summarize AHE and type detail at the end, that will give us things like the median and some of these different percentiles and uh, you know some other statistics that we did not get with just the plain old summarize. So you might need to use that detail in some other questions later on in the semester. All right, problem number four. We want to get uh, some summary statistics for a subset of the data. So we're going to use this if condition. I want to find out the average hourly earnings for college graduates. So let's say summarize the variable AHE for average hourly earnings. But now for college graduates, I want to say if bachelor is equal to one. How do I know that I want bachelor equal to one? Well, for one thing, I told you in problem bachelor equals one, and we will talk about dummy variables later in the semester, but that means that somebody has a bachelor's degree. And if I do this, I get an error because after the if command, I can't use a single equal sign. I need to add another equal sign and that's just because you can think of this as this could be less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or equal equal to. So it's got to be the double equal sign there. So that worked. I'm going to take it and put it in my do file. And now I can see the average hourly earnings are $21.34 for college graduates. 
If I just look at average hourly earnings across the board, it's $17.29. So it looks like, on average, college graduates are earning more. All right, let's go on to number five, create a new variable. So the new variable I want is going to be called AHE underscore 1996. So to create a new variable, in Excel, you might have done this with some formulas where you take an existing variable and manipulate it somehow. In Stata, we are going to use the generate command to make a new variable. So generate and then space the name of the variable. So AHE underscore 1996. And I typed a wrong character there. All right, so generate this variable. And this is going to equal AHE not double equal sign. When we do generate, we use a single equal sign that's going to equal AHE if the year is double equal sign 1996. So that looks good, but it says 7,098 missing values generated. So first let me copy this, put it in my do file, and now let me just browse and take a look well, I don't see any missing values right here for my AHE 1996 variable. So let me scroll down. If I keep scrolling down, it looks like I have numbers there. What if I go to the bottom? Oh, now these are missing. Notice this period. In Stata, the period means that you have missing data. Now, what do I notice about all of these missing data? The year is 2015. If I go up to where I have data, the year is 1996. If we want, we could replace those missing values with something. So I could say replace AHE underscore 1996 is equal to zero if AHE underscore 1996 is currently equal to missing. So that says that if the variable says it's missing right now, then I want you to put a zero there and we're going to replace the value. So it will no longer be missing, it will be zero. So if I do that, now I browse again. If I go to the bottom, instead of these missing values here, I have zeros. I'm going to take that command. And you know what? Watch this. If I copy this command, I got the period in there at the start of the line. When I go to my do file editor, it has this period. You don't want that period in your do file editor. So the period just displays on the status screen to let you know that you've started a new command. So let's get rid of that in the do file editor. And I also notice I have these spaces here. I'm just going to get rid of those spaces to clean things up. All right, the next step tells me to create a log file. So what I wanna do is actually go to my do file and I want to create a log file. There are a bunch of different types of files here. We have the actual data set that we downloaded initially as an Excel file and it is now a .dta file. We are currently looking at the do file which is going to be a .do file. In fact, let me save it. So file and save as. Now I want to go to the same directory where all my other files are and I will call this ps0video.do. You don't have to type the .do. So now if I go back to that folder where I've been keeping my things, we see that we have this ps0video.do. Turns out that I think it's really good practice at the beginning of your do file to type the command clear. That's just going to get rid of anything that's in the system and it will help you prevent some errors. I promise typing clear as the first command is going to save you at least a little bit of headache. Next, if I wanna make a log file, I have to type the word log using and then, so log means make a log file. Using means I'm going to tell you the name of that file. So let me call this file ps zero video. I can also copy a command out of a do file editor and paste it into Stata. And now it says, okay, 
So when I type log using, it tells me that we have this log and notice it ends with .smcl, that is Stata Markup Command Language. And if I go back to my folder, I can see that I have this .smcl file in there. That's my log file. Back to number six, it says go to your do file. And the last line that you should type is log close. So if I type log close, you can go over here, log close. And really there was no activity. I'm going to have a blank log file here. So what I want to do now is execute my do file and, and see what happens. What I, here, actually, let me just close that. I'm going to save my do file and just close out of Stata. Now it says data and memory have changed. Do you want to save it? And I'll say, no, don't worry about it. So now I can open up my do file in Stata by click, double clicking on that .do. And I can click this button that says execute or do. It has like a little triangle on a piece of paper. So if I do that, I get an error message. It says that this log file already exists. Now, I'm sorry, you're probably going to have to deal with a lot of mistakes like this, at least as you get started. So what's the problem? Right here, log using PS0 video. Well, I already have this PS0 video.smcl file. So Stata doesn't want to overwrite that. So we have to tell it comma space replace, and then it will go ahead and overwrite that file. All right, let me hit the do button. I go to Stata. All right, it started, but now it says file cps.dta already exists. Same thing, if we go to our directory, we see that we have cps.dta already there. So in our do file, we have to say save cps.dta comma replace. Now you could give it another name if you wanted, but the instructions did tell you to save it as cps.dta. So let's do this with the replace. Okay, let me hit the do button. Oh, now I have another error. Look, log file already open. Okay, so if that happens to you, the way you're going to fix that is by typing log close. Now I've closed the log, I can go back and execute my do file. All right, now, I hit the execute button. I have all this stuff, no error messages. It says log closed, end of do file. Excellent. Now, if I go and open up this log file using Stata, here's what it looks like. That's not bad if you use Stata. If you use a different application, it'll look a little bit different. Like if you were to open it with a text editor, you'll notice that it looks a little bit different. What we want to do is actually turn this into a PDF. So I want to go back to my do file and at the end of number six on our problem set, it says that we can write translate. And then I need to type the name of my log file. So in the assignment, it says PS zero dot SMCL space PS zero dot PDF. Let's see what happens if I try to do this. So I'll hit execute, or actually I could copy and paste this here. Now ps0.smcl not found. That's because in my directory, I actually called it ps0video.smcl. So let me go back to my do file. I'm going to change that to ps0video.smcl, and I'll just change that to ps0video.pdf. Let me hit the do button. That looks like it worked. Now if I go to my directory, you can see that I have this ps0video.pdf and I can open that up. It looks really nice. We've got this official Stata logo up here. It gives me a timestamp and I have all of these commands on here. Now this is not the easiest thing to read you see, if somebody were grading this, how do they know where problem one starts, where problem two starts? Also, I want to notice that this does have the commands you put in Stata, but only after you open your log. So if we go back to 
the do file, we see the first command is clear. And then we say log using, and the next command is import. So the first thing we see in our log is that import command. Now I'm actually going to take this cd command and put it, cut it here and put it right before log using because that will tell me to put the log into that current directory. Now what I want to do is call attention to problem one. I'm going to use comments to do that. So I'll type a few asterisks on one line and then I'll go down the next line, another asterisk for a comment and I will type problem one another asterisk and you know what I can probably get rid of those and on the next line I'll type asterisks again then I can copy this and problem two is going to be the hello world so I'll just change that to problem two problem three asks me to summarize average hourly earnings right, problem four is this if bachelor is equal to one. Problem five is the AHE 1996. So see, um, I'll show you the difference in what the log file looks like uh, after that. So problem six says to make the log file. Now let me hit the do button. If I go to Stata now, it says unable to save PDF file. Well, the reason for that is that I have this PDF file open, so I need to close it. It can't save on top of that PDF if it's open. So let me go to the do file, hit the do button. That seems like it works when you get this end of do file message. That seems like success. Now let me go here and open up ps0video.pdf again. And when I open it, Now I have this nice problem one, problem two, and that's going to make my file much easier to grade. If you'd like, you can go to Canvas and you can download my do file. So just click on this download button next to my do file and you can save it to your directory. And here's also my log file. So you can download my log file and see what it would look like. So those, are from me if you want to open this up. One thing that's really nice is you can copy and paste this into future assignments. If you have a command that works nicely like this generate command or the replace if command, you could take those and just change variable names or change values in the future. So if you find something that works like this translate command, you could just copy and paste that and then just edit for future assignments. So you have the ability to get my do file and I would say that's probably a good idea. Okay, I know this has been a ton of information. I know it could be a little bit overwhelming. If you start ahead, you can have some time to work on this stuff and come back to it. So please use these resources that I have available for you and please come see me if you need help.